Another new development today in the ongoing saga from the homeless camp down at I-90 in Freya. Now a threat from Spokane County Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich to clear that camp. Today, Sheriff Knezovich sent a blistering letter to WashDOT. He called the conditions at the camp wretched for those living in it or nearby it, and he vows to clear the camp by mid-October. In a letter sent today to the state secretary of transportation, Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich took direct aim at WashDOT, saying the quote, tragic situation has continued for more than nine months without any action on your part. Knezovich says the state's inaction condones criminal activity in and around the camp. Thefts, stabbings, rape, and the dumping of raw sewage and presents a significant health hazard to the Spokane community. He writes, frankly, it would be far safer for commerce to simply pay a year's worth of rent for the estimated 600 people at the camp than to allow the situation to continue. He also lays out a two-part plan to move people out of the camp. Action one, provide a bus ticket to each resident at the camp to, quote, allow them to reunite with family. Action number two, engage with the faith community to help with drug, alcohol, and mental health treatment. The problem at the homeless camp, he writes, has nothing to do with affordable housing, jobs, or the community, and has everything to do with the ongoing crisis fueled by drug and alcohol abuse and the concurrent mental health issues associated with such abuse. Knezovich goes on to say he's seeking an audit of WashDOT and contacting the FBI and plans to clear out the camp by mid-October. And he wraps things up by writing... If WashDOT wishes to demonstrate their compassion, I suggest that those responsible consider sponsoring a member of this camp with a room in their own homes. So the sheriff is planning a press conference tomorrow. In the meantime, tonight at 6, we verify whether the sheriff has the jurisdiction to follow through on that plan to clear the camp since it sits on state property but within the city of Spokane. Moments ago, we received a response to the sheriff's letter from WashDOT. It states that a number of state agencies have been working with local nonprofit organizations for months now and also talked about a productive meeting with city leaders yesterday. So it goes on to say the sheriff's proposal does not capture the spirit of those conversations. It reads in part, initial plans to secure the site with fencing are already underway. And while it will take time to fully resolve the encampment, the community will begin to see visible improvements in just the next few months. Just hours ago, WashDOT and the Washington State Patrol also released a joint statement addressing their meeting with the city just last night. The letter begins by saying the meeting was, quote, a start to a much needed dialogue. They also stressed that any actions regarding the I-90 homeless camp moving forward must be more realistic than what's already being proposed. The letter states, quote, Spokane's residents deserve thoughtful leadership on this issue and the people living in Camp Hope need safe, supportive housing. So it's important that realistic expectations exist up front.